hey guys, what are you guys doing here? Oh, that's a little weird. Waking up and seeing you guys. Huh, stalkers. Hey, hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm actually back home, yeah. Excitement. Well, today what I want to talk to you guys about is something we just had an assembly for this at school, and I thought it was a really interesting subject to talk about. We talked about cyberbullying today. I know I'm 18 years old. I've been through high school for, like, ever. So I've had my fair share of bullying. Bullying is something hard to go through for any teenager, and, you know, it's not fun. Bullying can often lead to worse things for an individual that you are bullying, like suicide. Getting inside of, you know, kind of a suicidal person's head. I've actually, you know, had a lot of times where I thought about it, like, maybe I'll just take the easy way out. But it really isn't an easy way out, because if you look at it, and this is my mindset on it, is do you realize how many people you're going to hurt if that happens? I know that there are some families where the parents don't really pay attention to the kid, and maybe the kid doesn't have that many friends at school, but odds are there is one person, at least, whose life is going to affect if you do kill yourself. Back to the whole bullying thing. Bullying thing is a really big issue in America in my opinion. I'm one of those people that gets in a heck of a lot of trouble because I hate bullying. It drives me insane. There can be a person that I completely dislike, don't want anything to do with them, but if there's a person standing across from me that's calling them fat or making fun of them or something like that, I sure as heck am going to dig right into them and set them right because I don't want to hear it. Usually I say if you're going to talk about somebody behind their back, don't do it around me. I don't like it at all. Even if I hear that somebody was talking behind somebody's back. I usually, I do tell the person who they were talking about if they were talking behind their back because I can kind of do something about it. This is my steps to what I do if I see somebody starting rumors or bullying someone. I will listen to it for a little bit just to see if this person really is as big of a bully as they're making themselves out to be right now. So I will say something. Well, even if it's something just a little bit that's bad, just making fun of a shirt they're wearing, I will say something to them. This is a conversation that was at lunch one day. Oh my god, that girl is such a fake. She always says that she wants to dress like me and all this stuff. But I don't understand why she does it. I mean, I'm me. She's just trying to be like me. Do you hear yourself right now? Well, she's, she's saying that her mom doesn't let her dress like that. With me, it's like, I don't give a crap what my mom says. I'm still gonna do it. Will you look at yourself right now? You're looking like a complete idiot. And coming from the perspective of the other person, you know what it's like to have a parent that won't do, let you do anything. Do you know how long it took me to get my mom to let me start dyeing my hair? Well, that's your mom. I mean, you did eventually do it with my mom's consent. Once my mom said I could do it is when I did it. I didn't go against my mom. Maybe that's what that girl's doing. So my friend, she tells this girl off and all this stuff that, that morning about it. And I have this girl later on in the day, and I tell her, I was like, I just want to let you know at lunch, she was talking about you, and she wasn't, she was calling you fake and all that stuff. Um, the girl did go up to the girl and confront the situation about it. I was very disappointed in the fact that she denied that she said all of it. And I even got asked, did she really say all that? I'm like, yeah, she did. Um, I also have these situations at school where, <laughs> for some reason, I hang out with the kids in my school that always want to get into fights. They either want to punch someone or scream at someone. I can kind of take guilt for that because I do scream at people a lot. I really do hate it when people stoop so low to start doing name calling. That drives me insane. Way back to what I was just discussing with you guys. I personally think that it's it's stupid to start fights in school. There's never a good reason to be violent, and I personally just hate it. And I have had a couple situations where I ended up being monkey in the middle of an argument, but I ended up being there when there was about to be a fight, and I do step in. I tell them both to back down, and if they don't back down, I just stand there. I'd rather have myself get punched or give given a bloody nose than my friend, because most of my friends, if they get hit, they're going to hit back. If you hit me, I'm not going to hit you back. I know that maybe kind of makes me sound like a chicken or something, but I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get kicked out of school or anything, because I do care about my education, and for me, education comes first. I'm not going to get suspended for that. I'm not going to get an in-school for that. I'm not going to get a detention. And I'm not going to get kicked out of school because some little tramp who thinks she's all that in a bag of chips and whatnot is going to expect me to hit her. I'm surprisingly, for all the times that I've screamed at, screamed at people and chewed them out, I'm surprised I haven't gotten the detention yet. I do it when the people deserve to have it done. I'm not just, you know, making stuff up off the top of my head. I do actually only 
two people out when it is needed. My friend actually, um, she brought that up one time. She's like, I really hate it. What? I hate that you sit there and you claim that you only chew people out when they completely deserve it. Because Jessica, honey, you don't do that. And I just look at her and I'm like, uh... Give me some times where I've chewed people out. She lists off like two or three, maybe four different situations where I had blown my top and I had gone off on people. And I sit there and for every single time that she named that I had chewed somebody out, I had a very good reason to do it. The person needed to hear it. And I am one of those people that I, I'm not afraid to tell you what I think you need to hear and there's a lot of people that will agree with me on that. Back to bullying. I have been bullied before in school. I don't let it get to me like a lot of people do. I'll take it as a joke or I'll come up with some, some smart ass comment back. It just like, you know, goes off me like, like water on water resistant fabric. But then you have, do have those instances where it's just, why would people do that to people? Just sometimes the amount of bullying that happens with kids is just insane. But the other things that really, really, really freaking bug me. Girls or guys who wear jeans that are too short. I cannot stand it when they sit down and you can see their ankles. Another thing that bothers me to no end is when girls wear leggings as pants. They're leggings. You wear them under skirts or shorts. You do not wear them as pants. Another thing that really, really, really bugs me is when somebody says, Oh my god, I love that band. I'm such a big fan. You cannot be a fan of a band. You cannot love a band with all your heart if you only know one song. I will sit here and say that I am a huge Reliant K fan and I love Reliant K, but I have listened to, you know, almost every single one of their songs that they have ever written. I own three of their CDs. I have about six hours worth of listening to their music on my laptop right now. Um, Panic at the Disco is another band that I really, 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 really love. I love all their music. I listen to it all the time. And the length of my playlist on my computer Panic at the Disco is unreal, so <laughs> let's just go with that. Another band I really, really like is Foster the People, um, mostly because Mark Foster is hot. I like Foster the People, and I'm not a fake fan. I do not just know Pumped Up Kicks. I know all of their music, but I can't sit here and say, oh my god, I love Paramore, because I only know like two or three songs by them, and I honestly don't think they're that good. Just my opinion. Another thing that really, 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 really freaking bugs me is when people are fakes. Like if you are changing how you act and how you dress and how you look just to make other people happy. That is being 150% fake. I dress like this because that's how I want to dress. I wear these bracelets because that's what I want to wear. I dye my hair whatever freaking color you want to call this because that's what I want to do. I don't care what other people have to say about how I dress. This is who I am. But if you're gonna go and you're like Oh my god, I wanna be Jessica's best friend. I wanna just be her best friend. So I'm gonna go dress like her. That's gonna make me hate you. Ooh, I'm 21. It's illegal. Let's see, another thing that bugs me, it bugs me when people drink and drive and crap like that. But I think that's, you know, universally disliked. And I'm sure that there is a lot more and I'm just not thinking of it right now. I guess I will leave you with rule number five on how to survive a zombie apocalypse. Have a burning desire. No, not for sex. No, not for another person, but have a burning desire and know how to make fire out of everyday household item. Because zombies hate fire and you never know when you're gonna have to burn them. It could happen any day. Seriously, you never know. That was my computer. It's getting up ready to edit the stupid video. I'm gonna go now. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, this is happening right now. I'm staring at you guys and talking like this and nodding my head. Oh, fuck. That was bad, wasn't it? Real. I suck. Alright, guys. I will see you guys later. Love you with all my freaking heart. Usually, for the most part. It's creepy saying that I love people I don't know. See ya. Peace out.